Welcome to Autono Mouse. In this episode, we'll talk about Amazon's biggest flop, drone deliveries. It's hard not to marvel at the world we live in. A world where a book ordered online can arrive at your doorstep the very next day, where streaming a movie takes seconds, and where technology seems to move faster than we can keep up. So when Amazon announced in 2013 that it was working on drones to deliver packages in under 30 minutes, it felt inevitable. Of course, we thought, why wouldn't drones replace delivery trucks? It's faster, cheaper, and way cooler. Jeff Bezos told us this would be a reality in just five years. But here we are, over a decade later, and unless you live in one of a handful of test cities, your packages are still arriving the old-fashioned way. By truck. So what happened? Why did one of the most powerful, innovative companies in the world hit a wall with Prime Air? Today, we're diving into Amazon's ambitious dream to dominate the skies and why it's proven so much harder than anyone, including Amazon expected. When Jeff Bezos unveiled Prime Air on 60 Minutes, he wasn't just showing off a cool gadget, he was making a statement. Oh my God, this, this is? These are octocopters. Yeah. These are uh, effectively drones, but there's no reason that they can't be used as delivery vehicles. Take a look up here so I can show you how it works. All right. We're talking about delivery here. We're talking about delivery. So there's an item going into the vehicle. I know this looks like science fiction. It's not. The drones would fly autonomously, guided by GPS, and drop off packages in your backyard. No delivery driver, no traffic, no delays. This wasn't just about convenience. Bezos was looking ahead to a future where fossil-fueled trucks would be replaced by electric drones, cutting carbon emissions and saving billions in delivery costs. But here's the thing. Drone delivery isn't a new idea. The military's been using drones for decades, and even pizza companies were experimenting with drone deliveries before Prime Air. So why did Amazon's announcement feel so revolutionary? It's because Amazon wasn't just proposing an idea. It was proposing scale. Bezos wasn't talking about a gimmick. He was talking about a fleet of thousands, maybe millions of drones operating 24-7. And that's what made the concept so compelling and so challenging. But for all its ambition, Prime Air quickly ran into one of the biggest hurdles for drone delivery, regulation. The FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, doesn't take kindly to unmanned aircraft buzzing around the skies. And for good reason. Imagine drones colliding with planes, dropping out of the sky, or straying into no-fly zones. Amazon's biggest challenge was what's called BVLOs, Beyond Visual Line of Sight Operations. The FAA requires drones to stay within the operator's view at all times. Which is fine if you're flying for fun, but useless if you're trying to deliver packages across a city. To solve this, Amazon had to convince regulators that their drones were smart enough to fly autonomously and avoid obstacles. By 2020, they finally got FAA approval to operate as an air carrier. But here's the catch. It was a very limited approval. Drones could only operate in controlled environments, far from the nationwide rollout Bezos promised. Honestly, I think this might have been the moment Amazon realized it was in over its head. Convincing regulators to approve a national network of autonomous drones was going to take years, if not decades. And the irony is, while Amazon was fighting for approval, competitors like Wing, owned by Alphabet, were quietly making progress in smaller, less ambitious markets. While Amazon wrestled with regulations, its engineers were tackling another beast, the drones themselves. On paper, it sounds simple. Build a drone, attach a box, and send it on its way. But real-world conditions are far messier. For one, there's the payload. Amazon drones can carry packages up to 5 pounds, which sounds fine until you realize that even small packages add weight, reducing the drone's range and battery life. A 10-mile round trip might not sound like much, but for a battery-powered drone carrying a payload, it's a serious challenge. Then there's navigation. Amazon's drones use cameras, sensors, and AI to avoid obstacles, but navigating a suburban neighborhood is a lot harder than it looks. Trees, power lines, pets, kids, all these variables make landing a package an engineering nightmare. And don't even get me started on, on urban environments. In dense cities, finding a safe place to land is almost impossible. It's no wonder Amazon has focused its tests on rural and suburban areas. But here's the part Amazon probably doesn't want you to know. Internally, Prime Air was a mess. 
Reports from the UK division described a culture of dysfunction, with unrealistic deadlines and high turnover. Employees called it one gigantic oversell. In the US, things weren't much better. In 2021, a test drone in Oregon crashed, sparking a 20-acre wildfire. And this wasn't an isolated incident. Multiple test flights ended in failure, raising questions about the project's safety and viability. By 2023, Prime Air's leadership had been overhauled and the project was scaled back. But the damage was done. For many inside Amazon, the dream of drone delivery was starting to feel more like a nightmare. Even in areas where Prime Air was operational, public reception was mixed. Residents in College Station, Texas, complained about noise pollution, comparing the drones to swarms of bees. Privacy was another issue. Amazon assured customers that drones wouldn't record footage unnecessarily, but the idea of camera-equipped drones flying over homes didn't sit well with many. And then there's the money. Right now, delivering a package via drone costs Amazon over $13. That's more than four times the cost of a traditional truck delivery. For drones to be viable, these costs would have to drop significantly. That means cheaper batteries, better manufacturing, and streamlined operations. But even with billions invested, Amazon hasn't cracked the code yet. Yet, amid the turbulence, a lifeline has emerged. In recent years, the meteoric rise of artificial intelligence has begun to rewrite the rules of what's possible. Could AI be the game-changer Amazon's drones have been waiting for? Today's AI can do things that were unthinkable just a decade ago. It can process vast amounts of data in real time, enabling drones to navigate more intelligently than ever. Obstacles like trees, power lines, and even erratic weather patterns? AI's adaptive algorithms can learn and respond in seconds, steering drones safely and efficiently through the chaos of our world. And it's not just navigation. AI is revolutionizing air traffic management for drones, allowing them to communicate with each other and share flight paths, avoiding mid-air collisions in ways human operators never could. Imagine a future where fleets of drones operate like a symphony, each unit perfectly in tune with the others, directed by AI systems that make the impossible seem effortless. The regulatory barriers once thought insurmountable, AI is helping address those too, providing detailed safety data and proving to authorities that autonomous drones can be as reliable as if not more than their human-piloted counterparts. And then there's the economics. With AI streamlining operations, the cost of drone deliveries is set to plummet. More efficient batteries, AI-driven routing, and automated maintenance systems mean the once fantastical dream of cost-effective drone delivery is now within reach. Public resistance? AI is addressing that too. Quieter, more efficient drone designs, guided by smarter algorithms, could transform drones from noisy intruders to welcome helpers. In this new era, privacy and safety concerns aren't just acknowledged, they're engineered out of existence. But perhaps that's the nature of innovation. It's messy, it's unpredictable, and it takes time. Yet with AI's incredible strides, what once seemed like an unfulfilled promise could soon become a groundbreaking reality. The sky may still be the limit, but it's clear that the tools to conquer it are finally here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories about the tech shaping our world.